Hi guys, my name is Dabson Ishmael and today we are going to take a look at how to add a progress bar to our WYSIWYG website project. So as you can see, this is a progress bar which I've added to a website and I'm going to show you how to do this in your WYSIWYG website builder. So to get started, you first have to go to codepen.io. So hit on enter, it takes a while to load and when you come to this website, you use the search bar here and type in progress bar. So I'm going to go ahead to type progress bar and hit on enter. It's, so it, this gives you different kinds of progress bar you can use in your website. So I like to stick to this. I'm going to go ahead and use this progress bar in my project. So this generates some kind of code which we are going to embed in our WYSIWYG website project. So uh, let me first open my WYSIWYG website project. And in our WYSIWYG web builder, we need an extension. That is the HTML text box extension. So I'm going to, I have it installed here, so I'm going to click on it and drag it here. So I'll come back to my website and copy this code. So this is the HTML code. I'll highlight all the code here using Control A, right click on it and copy it. So I'll come to my project, double click in my text box extension and I'll click on HTML. I'll first start with the HTML tag and with the HTML then paste my code in between. So I'll paste the HTML code here. I'll come back to the website again and copy the CSS code. So I'll go ahead and copy the CSS code, come back to my website project, still in the HTML text box extension. I'll go to the end of the HTML and I will add my style here. So I'll add a style tag here. And with the style tag, and paste my CSS code in it. So I'll go ahead and click on OK and expand this a little bit. So even you can have a preview of what we are going to do by the end of this tutorial. So I'll go ahead and hit on F5. So this generates the progress bar in our website project. In case you want to get rid of any of the uh, progress bar here, all you need to do is to come back to your code, double click in it, either in your text box or come to the website where you generated your code and go through the code and take away what you don't want and just change the values you want to change the values to. So that is how to add a progress bar to our WYSIWYG website project. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.